This may just be the number one biggest fundamental in golf, and I have a problem with it. That's contact, ladies and gentlemen. So far on this journey, I've had pulls of fat shots and problems just being consistent with shot patterns. And so I am back in Long Beach, California with one of the greatest golf coaches in the world, Dana Dalquest, and he has worked with guys like the Norwegian protege, Victor Hovland, and is the current swing coach for Bryson DeChambeau. By the end of this lesson, you are gonna understand perfect positions for the backswing. Get two secret moves that will help with getting weight on your lead side and rotation, and even debunk a fact that 99 percent of people on social media constantly say is true. Let's get into it. Doesn't look bad. It's great. It is an improvement. Here, let's just like jump right into it. So let's kind of review this as we can. So last time we chatted, we talked about rotation. And so the golf swing is predicated on that, the rotation of the swing. Yeah. But we have to be careful that our definition of rotation is matching. Yeah. So typically when I think of rotation, I think of this. I think of like this horizontal going like a, like a merry-go-round, going around in a circle. The golf swing is actually a match of that and a match of this. Now, depending on the ball flight you're hitting, like a draw would have probably more side bend yep. as you hit it and less rotation horizontally when I hit it. The ball that you're hitting, the last two shots were pulls. Okay, now we need to figure out is the pull coming from improper like rotation side bend relationship or is it something with your levers? Is it your hand path? Like it could be a slew of things. Now in the past, you thought that it was more hand path related. Yeah, I think um, when I see pulls, it's like me not getting to my left side laterally. And so I'll just instantly turn right away and then I'll just go like that. Yeah. Good. So that would be more like a carousel going around this way. So when I get to the top and my pressure's right too long, it will rotate the body prematurely open horizontally and send the hands out. So um, let's look. Okay, so as we go back, you load a little to the right, which is good. You get a little bit out of range still. So you're still too far right. So out of range being like I come out this way? Yeah, a little too much. And you want me to come in a little more like this? Yeah, Okay. yeah. That's so you know, it's only an inch, only okay. an inch out of range. And as you go to the top, you know, that looks pretty good. I think uh, you get a lot of turn. Yeah, pretty good. You're a little right, but pretty yeah. good. Okay. Uh, extension rate is good. Yeah, so you're, you're pretty good. Chest bend right here, see it says 12.8 at the top. Mm -hmm. That's a little out of range. So that needs to get, and we'll get a bigger sample size, but you don't have enough extension in your spine at the top. Okay, what does that look like? So at a dress, I'm bent over, let's say 40 degrees. Yeah. Okay, if I kept that going back, my head would be over here. Yeah. So as I turn this way, I need to, at the end, create a little bit of extension. Okay, and then what am I doing right now? You're like this too much. Okay, so you want me to like this? Yeah, just a little, feel like your chest goes up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that might be why you can't get your pressure back. Okay. Think of like your body as having two center gravities. Yeah. So there's a total sum of your mass and then like two other hubs. So if I'm turning like this and I get to the top, there's more pressure right, right? So, but if I extend my chest, see how the pressure can get back to the left earlier? So that might be one of the reasons why you feel that way. So then as you start down, so not a whole bunch of forward. Yeah. It's like my biggest. And then right here, you're not very forward. Yeah. But, you know, your turns are good. Your side bends are decent. Um, you know, the positions look decent, but the handle's kind of back. Mm -hmm. It's not forward enough. Yeah. And then the wrist kind of takes over. Yeah. So let's do one more down the line just to look at the hand path, and then we'll work on the fix. Okay. okay. So that was the first straight one, right? All right, this is just to show like hand path. Now you can see like body thrust from this angle yeah. also, but we're just gonna look at hand path specifically, especially from the top. So from the top of the swing, hands are fine there. Hands are generally fine there. They might be a little deep and a little overswung there. Mm -hmm. Now the reason why they overswing might be because there's not enough extension, your arms kind of lift a little bit. Okay. So the more that I'm over here, I don't get enough turns, so then I kind of lift my arms to do it. So. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And that is a little more on the steeper side. Yeah, that's kind of the big thing. Yeah. And then you kind of stand up to hit it. And then you can't really rotate your pelvis because you're steep. 
Yeah. So, okay, easy. All right, I'm gonna give you the fix. So let's go set up. We, the real important thing about changing a golf swing um, from like the, the kinematic side of things, which are positions, is you have to reduce the urge that the ball really matters. Oh okay. yeah. Because that's the hard part. There's this, there's this crazy thing in the golf world, I'm gonna be on my pulpit for a minute, that, oh, if I do this, this, and this in my golf swing, actionably the ball's gonna be better. Now, that might happen a month from now, it might happen a week from now, we don't really know. But we need to get the geometry better yeah. in your golf swing um, so that the outcome is more predictable. The false pretense of like golf magazine tips which is like, oh, if you just do this, it's gonna be better. That's like a weird deal. I don't understand where that comes from. We wanna make the golf swing look good. The outcome will be better in the long run. Okay, yep. you ready? Yes, sir. So go ahead and take your setup. So go ahead and go just halfway back for me. Yeah, keep going. There. Okay, so this is gonna be essentially your backswing. So here's some checkpoints. So you turn this a little bit more to the right. There you go. Arms are gonna feel more in front of you. Right elbow is under the left. Okay, so see how this elbow yeah. is under? Mm -hmm. I do not want this to go like this. Okay. See how it gets behind you? Now from here, this is gonna keep turning to the right, but your chest is gonna go up two inches. So feel like your chest kind of, your sternum goes up there. As you do that, this elbow stays down under this elbow mm -hmm. as this is down there. Okay, that's your feel. Yep, that's your backswing. Now, because of that, do you feel like you can get your pressure left earlier? Yes. Yeah. So right here, kind of? Yep, that's the feel. So let's do a couple like that. You ready? Yeah. And kind of do it how we did it in phases. So you go to, to here, lead arm parallel, chest goes up two inches, and pressure goes left. Yep. Yep, so it's like this. You go here, chest goes up two inches, pressure lands left. Boom. Exactly. Oh, so this, the top of this is kind of... Feels like it goes forward. Yeah. While I'm... Okay, like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hit it like that? Yep. Good. Slower. Slower. So watch me. Yeah. So you have a big intent on hitting a, a good shot. Yeah. That's like your concern. Like your big thing is different than mine. So, and the reason being is like, I know I can hit a ball well, I don't really care. Like I'll shank it, but I wanna make the, I wanna make the picture right. So when I get in here, I go, okay, I'm not even gonna look at the ball. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna do lead arm parallel, elbow down, extend the chest, pressure left. I gotta even, even look at the ball. <laughs> like don't even care. Good. Now I want you to go even slower. Slower, okay. There, check your elbow. It's in front of you. Yep, now go up, extend, and land. Good, do that again. Where'd the ball start? Left. <laughs> okay, right. you wanna see why? Yeah. Okay. You have a good golf swing. You just have some pieces that need to be like kind of fixed here. So how's your pelvis sway looking? Good. Right? Yeah. Now you're at one. Upper axis, turned. Upper hub, chest bend, three. That's good. Yeah, so you went from here and you got close to zero. So you're okay. no longer over here. Okay. So the bottom is gonna be better. Here's like the geometry question. Remember I said there was geometry to this? Yes. It's kind of a double-edged sword. You have an over the top piece, yeah. but you have a bigger issue with contact. Yeah. That's like the big one. So you think the contact's gonna be fixed by getting your handle more forward. I never think about that. Okay. It just doesn't. So my left shoulder is like the low point of the swing. So if I set up and I have a ball here, the ball, the low point's up in front of it. If my left shoulder goes back like this, and it's way over here, yeah. and I start down, where's my left shoulder? Way over here. Yeah. That's what you were doing. So if I go back and I turn and then create some extension, and get pressure to land left at the top, and I start down, my left shoulder is now up here again. So then that kind of causes the... Gets shuffling. Shuffling. Yeah, like, it allows for shuffling. Yeah. If it's back here, you have to do something to do it, which is mm -hmm. why you throw your hands at it. So if you look at this picture, so now this is zeroed out. When you start down, where's your left shoulder? Your left shoulder is more forward. Yeah. Right? So your left shoulder is like up by your left foot now. Yeah. Okay, regardless of wrists or anything else, it gives you an opportunity to get more shuffling into the golf ball, which you can do next. Yeah. 
Okay. That's crazy. Okay, let's do that again. Now you're not tilting back and swinging left and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So, so that's better. I want to recap that before. Yeah. So here, I'm get when I do this, is the left shoulder when I'm at the top of my back swing gets past the ball, would you say? It can, yeah. A little bit, and then... The, um, what were the three th the things here that I have to... Right elbow work? has to be in front of the rib cage. So you don't want to get... I'm going to kind of go long-winded here. You don't want to get the left arm ripping across your chest because it pulls the elbow behind you. Okay. So this, this, there's an idea prevalently on social media yeah. to get depth. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you were my age and you sat at a desk, you weren't mobile, you had neck issues, thoracic spine issues, then I would allow your right arm to get behind you. Okay. Okay. You're a Greek god. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So do not do that. Okay. You're able to actually create rotation and thoracic extension. So your arm, your right elbow, is yes. not going to start orbiting around you. Gotcha. So when I'm bringing it back here, I should just like have it in front of the rib cage the whole time. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm just basically rotating like this, turning and then extending and then at the top like and landing. Yeah. So slow mo. There. So now it's easy to get your weight forward. Yeah. Right. Okay. You ready? You got this. Better start line. Did you have started right? Yeah. And drew back? Yeah, that was different. Different. Way different. Okay. Can I, can I do part two? Yes. So you could work from the club. There is some things that we can do with the club with you through your setup, your grip, maybe handle height that can influence where the face is projecting. You tend to play with a strong grip and your handle's low. That combo aims the face left, okay? So watch. If I have a strong attachment, okay, this way, yep. to, to, to the loft, dynamic loft, um, or static loft, excuse me, already that's, if this left, if this left wrist goes level, it's left, yeah. already. Yeah. So it's starting left. Hard to draw a ball if that's the case. You can start it left though. And if the handle gets lower, the face is actually getting more left. It doesn't mean you need to change that necessarily now. So over time, because I'm not going to attack that right now, but what we would do, if you observe that you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, but it's overdrawing yeah. too much or starting left and overdrawing, first thing I would do is raise the handle at address. So what that does, if the handle goes higher and uncocks the left wrist, the face gets more to the right. So we don't change the attachment necessarily. We might, but do that first. So just do this. It'll feel like Freddie Couples, like your handle will be higher. Yeah. And then when you come down, it'll be a little more uncocked and you'll start the ball a little more to the right. The body stuff, like I said, what we're gonna be doing. So let's say that we do this really, really well. And we land left. I don't want you to feel like the whole system starts spinning left. I want your lower body to do that, but your upper body to tilt. So it's a little bit recovering back what we talked about last time, is when you get up here and pressure gets left, this can open. And then the right shoulder is going to feel like it works more underneath you. Okay. okay. So I'm coming here and it's landing and I'm not even worried about this going. I'm just kind of like um, rotating my hips so that this follows. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a drill. Okay. So now go to your backswing. Pressure lands left. Okay. Good. Now start feeling like this rotates open, but feel like this starts going vertical. Keep opening your hips that way. Yep. And feel like this. Keep your head down. This works more vertically. Oh, I see. See so that's more vertical? Yeah. But now open your hips up more. Yeah. That's side bend. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Now, it's hard for you to do that for numerous reasons. Number one being that the pressure is not left enough. So it's hard for you to push your body if your weight's not left this way, okay. um, which is vertical. Yeah. Okay. And then number two, if your face is dead shut, why would you add a right piece to it? Because you're just going to hook it over there even more. So your brain kind of goes, if the face is shut, swing more left to kind of like a pull cut. Mm. Okay. But we'll figure that part out later. Where do you want me to feel the pressure? Is it like... It's going to land in the ball of your left foot. Could be toe, but more ball. Like this, and then... And then push that way, yeah. Yep, exactly. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is... Okay, let's see this. Let me just try it. Slow speed. Oh man, <laughs> the sequencing is... You're fine. There, and then just push open and side bend. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Nice. That was different. That felt completely different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it looks, but... <laughs> Better. Do that follow through again. 
So we want to go like this. There, hold. And let your arms feel like they go that way. Not left. Not left. Yeah, you're, you're trying to rip your arms left. Just let them go out. So it's... Side bend, your lower body's rotating enough, your arms can stay extended. Got it, so it's like th this way. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You don't need to. You don't need your arms to go left like that because that's just going to pull everything more left. Gotcha. Yeah. So you know, people get like this because they're trying to pull the handle left. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to throw the club down the line, but because I rotate so well with my lower body, the handle looks like it's going left, but it's not. It's okay. just on the arc. Gotcha. So it's boom, this in, land, land, push, side bend. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, that's like a different feel, right? Crazy see feeling. How it started right and drew back. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, yeah. So like this whole thing about like over the top. Well, okay. Do I want to solve it through my arms and my wrists? No, I don't yeah. want to do that. It's not athletic. So like you don't want to solve a downswing issue by trying to think about your wrist angles or your elbow or your arms. It's like at least have a fundamental understanding of like how the body's rotating and tilting. Like, cause that, that, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. doesn't mean that some people don't need to do it that way. Maybe they do. Mm -hmm. But like, if I tried to go to the top of my swing and straighten my arms down or somewhere to get the club back, I've taken 20% of my power potentially out of my system. Mm. I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, cause I want to rip a driver like at 125. Yeah. I ain't doing it from here. Yeah. You know, it's not going to work. Gotcha, gotcha. And this is the same for a driver? Oh yeah, heck yeah, absolutely. Oh man, okay. To make it perfect, is it, um, I just have to fire my hips even more to the left? Yeah, the hips of the left leg is gonna straighten back behind you. This is gonna clear and I'm gonna side bend. That way. Yep, arms are gonna go out to the right. <laughs> side bend, <laughs> let your arms go out to the right. There you okay, go. Okay, got it, got it. Let me try this. Bingo, start it right. Okay, so I'm gonna say this again. Yeah. Golf lessons are evaluations. Yeah. So it's the work behind it that really matters. So like when you come to a lesson, you're not fixing anything. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we get you to hit the ball in the direction you want and all that kind of stuff. Like, and sometimes that does happen miraculously, but I don't look at it that way. I look at it from like, okay, this is, this is the work you need to put behind it so that you can evolve into that. Fixing what you're doing is not hard, it's just reps. Yeah. Just, just wrap it out, wrap it out, right? And do it as meticulous as you can. People are a little bit unwilling to do that. Yeah. I'm kind of a hard ass on that. I don't really care. All right, let's do it again. Awesome. And yeah, don't worry about the reps, man. I'm grinding. <laughs> okay, good. Just um, do it as slower than you think. Yeah. For the time being. So it's. And then side bend push. Yeah. I, I really need to feel this going right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I always go like that. It's gonna help that face piece that you keep. When you're going like this, yeah, that face is just getting more and more left. Yeah, but if I go this way, that handle is going up and this way. It's going to hit out to the right. Throughout that entire process, uh, my head shouldn't be like over here. It should just kind of just stay. Yeah, we'll we'll determine where you are on that. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Your head shouldn't be forward or back too much. Better. All right. Now do me one more favor. Yeah. Set up to the next one. Yeah. Okay. And I want you to feel like the handle's higher off the ground at a dress than High, you're comfortable oh, like, doing. Like here? Yeah, quite a bit. Okay. Like it's almost pointing above your belt line. Like this? I think so. We're gonna take a peek. More? Yeah, a little bit more, one more. There you go, bend your right arm a little bit. Now do everything the same on the downswing. Side bend, rotate, same backswing. Okay. There you go. A little thin, but see, it's still right and drawing. Yeah. So it's keeping your pattern intact. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and I started with this strong grip just because, you know, the first three months. Were you slicing it? Everything. Yeah. But I'm okay, like, changing it if you want to. Um, I don't change that right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. Just... Um, <clears throat> I don't mind if a person has, like, wrist extension at the top, which is, like, a cup left wrist. Oh, yeah. As long as they understand how to unload it. Okay, okay, so like if a player, you know, you gotta remember like 90% of the tour players have wrist extension. Mm -hmm. They're not here. Oh, really? So Victor's here, yeah, DJ's Victor's here, here. Colin's here. Yeah. But they also all cut the ball. Yeah. So 
Why? Well, it's because this helps him start the ball left. So if you're trying to hit it straight or a draw, this becomes a pickle mm -hmm. to do that. You got to do something to get the ball starting over there. So most players are here. Rory's here. Yeah. He draws every ball. Mm -hmm. But he's very good at getting this thing to line up. So mm -hmm. don't worry about that right now. Okay. So same thing, but now just this a little higher? Just higher, yeah. Okay. And then this is bent a little? Yeah, you're good. Yep, and then push back and open the hips up. Let the arms go down the line a little more. That's uh, all that was. This uh, this way? Yep, yep. And I was just like, uh -huh. crazy. Oh, okay. Sounded like golf, what did the ball do? Uh, went right. Okay. Didn't start left though, right? Um, it went straight and then right, yeah. Okay. So it faded a little bit? Yeah, I would okay. say so. Better. Bottom is better. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Okay. So we have a lot of plates to spin. So one of the things that you tend to get is you tend to get a little too out of range to the right. This is better. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind a little lateral. I'm actually, my preference, like every golf teacher has a preference. I don't like things to be zero. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why is demographically, I work with a lot of guys that hit it really, really far. Yeah. Okay. And I mean really, really far. Mm -hmm. So um, you can't hit it really, really far if everything is centered. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of a myth. Um, the reality is you need to get your pressure to shift before your mass. Mm -hmm. So you getting a little bit of like a push to the right and hitting the break on that is not a bad thing. Okay. I don't want you to get the horizontal to go too long if you can't control it. So like Justin James you know, flies at 400 yards. I'm not saying you need to do that, but he moves four inches to the right. Okay. But he's got a longer swing, number one. He's got really good ability to break on that right side, so therefore he's able to come back. Yeah. Okay. For you, this is about where Xander Shoffley is. He's okay. about two inches to the right. Same with Rory. Yeah. So Rory shifts right two inches before he takes the club back. Okay. Then, as you wind, it doesn't increase. So see at the top how it recenters. Yeah. So that's good. Now you're back to zero at the top. Got it. Kind of a good thing because that controls that radius. Yeah. Then we look at your bend, chest bends at zero. Congratulations. Okay, nice. That's because I'm going. Because you more. extended and you landed back to your lead side. So now it's very easy because your COGs are lined up to land left. Then from here. What are COGs? Center of gravity. Center of gravity. Yeah, if you're upper and lower center. So like okay. you're perfect right here. So it's green? Yeah. And then from here, you're already left. Now you open up your pelvis and side bend your upper body. So now your side bend is, is in green. See that? Yeah, so it's yeah. really, really good. And your turns are all green. So congratulations, you're all green. Yeah. <laughs> that so looks like a completely different swing. Yeah, it, it will feel like that. And then as you come through, your arms are straighter because you're not swinging as far left. Got it. Okay. Now, what needs to get improved on that pitcher is yeah. you have to get good at this and this. Mm. And keep, keep kind of feeding that into the system. Get rid of this <laughs> as Got much it. as you can. But you'll get it. Yeah. So how, how would I get better at those, you would say? Doing what you're doing right now. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. so the right now I'm kind of stalling, I guess, and then bring this in. Is that what's happening? You can call it stalling, okay. but it's you just you're not you're not adapted to creating enough rotation side bend. So basically the more that I open up, the more side bend I need. Right? So yeah. like here's the thing. Is rotation really prevalent in social media? Yes. Sure. Yeah. It's like you need to have it to play golf. Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, Cause there's plenty of golfers in the history of golf, Jack Nicholas being one and maybe like Jimmy Walker, who's made 30 million on tour that do the opposite. They're sliding and thrusting. Yeah. Right. But what's better? It's like, I don't know. Like if Jimmy Walker was here, I'm not going to teach him how to rotate more. Yeah because that'd be ridiculous because yeah. <laughs> he's going to go straight to the corn ferry. So you need to like kind of tread lightly on it. Now, obviously you're in developmental. You didn't make 30 million on tour. Yeah. So I can kind of have a little bit of experimental with you to see what you're capable of doing. Okay. And to me, physically, you're capable of adding more rotation to your lower body. Yeah. But in order to do such, you need to side bend to match it. Because if you just 
open up, you're just gonna hit pull, pull wipes. So yeah. that's kind of the issue here. I see. Yeah. Got it. I guess uh, when I'm, and the more weight I have here, the easier it's gonna rotate. Anyway. Yeah, you're gonna be able to push from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll only refine that area if need be, but this is like blanket approach. Like you, the backswing's the most important thing and then that's secondary. Okay. And they, they definitely match up. Got it. Because okay. you can't side bend if your pressure's on your back foot. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. So, let's do a couple more. The feeling right now I have when I'm trying to, I guess, rotate this out is just, it just keep, it seems like I'm just like straightening this leg, which Yeah, straighten right. the leg behind you. Yeah, is yeah. Is that right? Yeah, 100%. Like that? Yeah. Players that go very lateral with their lower body this way mm -hmm. are probably gonna rotate their body more that way. Yeah. Like I had a lesson this morning of a guy who does that. He's mm -hmm. a good player, but his exit gets too low. Yeah. So he goes lateral, which doesn't feel good on my hip, by the mm -hmm. way. And then the upper body, this is stalling. So the upper body starts to unwind too, too quickly and mm -hmm. you lose X factor. Gotcha. And that's not a good thing either. So, but if I straighten this leg earlier and drive the right hip and side bend, I create more X factor. What's X factor? Differ the differential through the rotation process in the downswing of the rib cage and the pelvis differential. Oh, I see. So like a stretch. I see. So it's like a cycle of stretch. Got it. Okay. The more you have, the better. Oh, and then should I, um, at address, start doing this yeah. more? Okay. Oh, yeah. You'll get it. Yeah, that feels so different though, <laughs> which is, I think, probably a good thing. And I guess the the way someone gets forward shuffling is just basically doing, yeah, getting this locked. And yeah, they don't care about it. Yeah, anymore. if you side bend and rotate, your handle gets forward. Yeah, you don't. I don't try to do that. I spent like two years trying to do that, or longer than that, my whole life, trying to get the handle ahead. Yeah, just to to create a look. And then then when the more you rotate and side bend, the more it actually gets here anyway. Yeah, it's like oh, just add more of that, yeah. and then it gets there. If anything, I try to get it out of there because I'll hit it too low and too oh, hot. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, I don't have any of that. I feel like I end up going this and then go like that. No, well, it's because everything stops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> Fixed. So that's like three push draws in a row. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Arms to the right. Arms to the right, yeah. I think I need to just exaggerate that a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. For now. <laughs> Closer. A little chunky. One more. Yeah. So that was an overdraw. Started straight. Okay, yeah. I just don't want to see left start lines. Okay. That's awesome that it's doing that. So mm -hmm. the reason that's now doing that is because I'm setting this a little more higher and like. And you're recentering your pressure and you're pushing into side bend. Gotcha. If I was to say there was like a, a matchup to that, the handle being higher aims the face more right. Yes. The side bend is keeping the grid from going to the left too fast, keeping it moving more to the right, mm -hmm. okay? And the pressure being more forward is letting you hit it out on the ball more. Got it, and that drill was uh, like this, and this goes up. Yeah, correct. Cool. There you go, Miss Gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what you need to do. So let's kind of review this for a little bit. Um, okay, so how I put this together, I think there's uh, the redeeming quality of quality of practice is really, really important. And by breaking it down to the mechanics of the swing to add it to your sequence. So like, what I mean by that is position three lead arm parallel, like what am I looking for there? So I'm looking for the right elbow to be on the left. I'm looking for about 70 to 72 degrees of shoulder turn. And then from there, as I keep turning, I'm gonna feel extension in the spine. That right there, that phase will help you get your pressure back to your left. Cause if you don't do that, you're on your right too long. See that? Yeah. Can't get left unless I push horizontally. That's number one. Number two is when that pressure gets there, you have to learn how to react to it. You're not used to getting your pressure there. Yeah. You're used to being back here and then spinning. And yeah. then that just sends the hand path out. You don't get enough side bend, you hit pull cuts. Getting into this position where it gets back to lead earlier allows you to have the option of how you push. In the interim, you're gonna learn how to push into side bend and over time, learn how to rotate your left hip out of the way as you do it. So if I don't side bend, the hands go to the left. See that? I eat, so does the face. So the more I side bend, the more the hands actually look like they're pointing that way, I'll project the ball more to the right. That's kind of how I want you to kind of think about it. And you can do it your own way. Yeah. It's interesting, like the, the masses of golfers need to behave kind of in the realm that you're doing it, not add more horizontal rotation. Okay. You know, I have a problem when I, I'm, I don't say it, 
vocally. Even though my guys turn a lot, doesn't mean I'm telling them to turn horizontally. Even though a lot of my guys look crazy open, yeah. I'm not telling them to do that. Okay. They just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they do that because they have enough side bend to do it. So you build that in, this becomes easy. Yeah, I, I think about side bend because that's start line. Okay. okay, now if you're a tour player, like this is an actual conversation I had with a tour player. A tour player disagreed with me because a tour player side bends enough. Yeah. <laughs> they have no problem hitting push blocks. The average person does not. The average person doesn't do that. They're very good at being right and spinning over the top. Yeah. So this is why tour players, an actual conversation I overheard with uh, Wyndham Clark. So okay. Wyndham was teaching a buddy of his, you know, it was interesting him and his caddy. Uh, John were talking about it, that they have to build in the patterns that Wyndham already has involved in his swing that he tries not to do. Because yeah. Wyndham tries to hit more cuts because most tour players have no problem swinging to the right. Yeah. You know? So it's like kind of like a, a spectrum of things. You kind of have to look at it from, okay, well, what pieces do I have in my swing relative to the other side? Yeah. And you were definitely over here, yeah, for, sure. for sure. Cool? Yeah, sounds good. Man. Sweet. Good job. Awesome, brother. Cool. Well done. Oh.